Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the gate installation and SSS key setup. So before that, we are going to learn what is a gate. So what is gate exactly? Gate is one of the most popular and distributed version control system. It is an open source project which is compatible with many operating system and IDEs. Like if if we are using, uh, for example, if you are using the IntelliJ idea, so Git is automatically integrated over there. So you will get, you don't need to add the separate plugin like Git plugin in the IntelliJ idea. There is a by default available. Git is by default available there. Git take a snapshot of all files whenever we create a new commit. This this is Git is very very important. Okay. Now how to how exactly download and install this Git? So for that guys. I just need to go to the uh, Google Chrome and here I'm, I'm searching git bash download. So git bash download I need to search and this is an official website we have git scm.com this official website once I click over there you can see you will get a three options for a git bash like first options you will have Mac OS, Windows and, and Linux. This this three options you will get so here you need to uh, click on this Windows option once you click on this windows options you can see guys uh, here also you will get the separate options like standalone installer and portable installer so here we are going to click on selecting on the standalone installer for the 64 bit kit uh, for a windows setup once you click on over here you can see git is started automatic automatic automatically installing now i already have installed this git on my machine so i'm i'm i'm, I'm just cancel these things and I'm going to the uh, downloads uh, download folder in my local machine. Here you can see, guys, this is a git uh, is automatically installed over here. Now what I need to do, I just need to double click over here on this installer. Once I click uh, double click over here, I just need to select the S button. Okay. Uh, then here I need to click on this next button. So here whatever by default settings we have, I just uh, need uh, need to let it be those settings don't change those settings as of now so here uh, which which folder I, I need to install C program files and git folder so I already have the git folder in this in uh, in this location because previously I installed the git so here I'm just overriding the things only just let it be this by default things just let it be all things just click on the next button let git decide then click on the next next here also you need to click on the next here also you need to click on the next 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 here also you need to take uh, click on the next 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 and this is how don't don't click here and there and here also you need to click on this install install button once you click on the install button here you can see each and every component of the git bash of the git uh, uh, git we can we can able to install so git bash here i'm just installing locally so with the help of this git bash component we can able to we can able to add delete whatever thing like uh, we need to do communication with this git bash. we need to do communications uh, with the help of this git bash to the our uh, cloud repo like guys we have the uh, like whenever we are storing our repo we are storing our repo into the into the cloud like github cloud we have in there we are there we are storing our repos so github is nothing but like we are creating the uh, account over there this is the this is the main thing we have now here you can see uh, uh, right now i already created the github account and i am going to create a separate uh, separate video for that how to create the account on the github and probably I'm going to release that uh, release that video as soon as possible. So here you can see uh, all the uh, all the other component are properly installed. And uh, so probably uh, all components is going to going to install over here and. Uh, Here you can see all component are properly installed over here and here I need to click on this finish button so my my install is completed 
and here I need to click on this finish button. Once finished, you will land it on the release notes. What are the release notes for this Git patch version 2.37.1? This is how successfully install. Now, how we can check whether our uh, installer is properly installed or not. So for that, what we need to do, guys, we need to go to the like any folder you can go uh, go on on your on your local machine. So here I'm just going, guys. Here like Ganesh.jada or this folder I'm going to here the repos folder I have where I store the repos. Uh, here you can see these are the repos I store over here. Now, if I'm right click over here, you can see guys, <coughs> right click show more options and you can see git bash here. So these options I will get over here. Now with the help of these options, you can see git bash is properly open. Now git bash is nothing but like as I already told you, this is the way of communication with your local local machine to the your uh, cloud based repository like GitHub. We have the account on the GitHub and there we are storing the storing our repos so what we need to do so now for do the communication we must need to set up this sss key but how to set up the sss key so for that we must need to understand what what does it mean by the sss key and sss key is an access credential for ssh secure shell network protocol this authenticated and encrypted secure network protocol is used for remote communication between machines on an unsecured open network sss sss key is used to use for the remote file transfer network management and remote operating system access so that is why sss key plays the very crucial role okay now how to set the sss key so for that we have the separate command like here you can see this command we must need to use uh, for all of you guys this command will be remain same only in the double coded email id you can provide your own email id so here uh, i just i'm just copying this command and here what i need to do i'm just pasting this command over here once i paste this command and once i uh, hitting the enter button you can see guys what will happen generating public or private key rss key pair this message you will get so enter enter file enter enter file in which save the key so here you can see i am getting it and uh, uh, this file id underscore rsa file will be generating and which folder dot ssh folder it is storing so here i just need to uh, click on the enter button here you can see now on this location these files are already available but still i wanted to generate so i will get the message i so like are you are you all right this these files so definitely i am pressing the f button and click on the uh, click on the uh, enter button when this is done enter passphrase empty for no passphrase i we don't need to provide any passphrase so simple uh, press the enter button and here also again you need to press the enter button from your keyboard when this is done here you can see id underscore s uh, rsa id underscore rsa dot pub so these two files is generated on on your this location so here i just need to open this uh, folder i need to go to the c drive and here i need to go to the users i need to go to the uh, ganesh.jadav and here i need to go to the dot sss folder is generating so here you can see this folder you need to go okay once you need you go here you can see this two file uh, is generated over here so here what you need to do on this this second file dot excel file i need to open this excel file over here here you can see i need to open this excel file and i need to copy this uh, file content from from the from this file okay once you copy this thing you need to you need to you need to have the github account first okay how to create that github account i'm going to share separate video for it but i have right now the ready made github account so what i need to do i'm just go i'm just going to that github account here you can see i'm just going this github account going to this github account and here you can see these many like repositories we have this is how your github is account look like this now what i need to do here i just need to right click uh, on on your profile here you can see this is a right click options and here you need to click on this settings options okay you need to click on this uh, click on this settings options once you click on this settings option on your left hand side you can see guys ssh and gpc gpg keys 
so this is options you can see over here and here you can you can add the sss key so for that you need to click on this new sss key once you click on this new sss key whatever content you copy from from the notepad from that file you just need to paste it over here once you paste it over here you need to click on this add sss key once you click on this add ssh key this is two factor authentication i did so so that is why uh, i'm getting an otp so here i get the otp you will get the you will get your own otp separate otp you will get guys four five okay and i just need to click on this verify and here you can see guys the key is ssh key is automatically added over here now what i need to do now you can able to like successfully you can able to connect with the with your github repository from your local machine okay now here i just need to select this i just need to take a clone of of this repository so for that what i need to do i just need to copy the url https url so this is the url here is the copy button i just need to copy these things and here you can see guys what i need to do i am just i'm just taking the clone of this uh, repository so for that i am just creating the one of the folder over here okay demo one folder i'm just creating and here what i need to do guys okay i'm just going inside and here i'm right click over here and here what i'm doing git bash here i'm just opening and here i'm using the git clone command git clone command git clone command means whenever you wanted to clone the particular repo from the uh, github repository so that time we must need to use the git clone command and here that https url i need to paste it over here once this is done you can see guys cloning of the repository is automatically happened over here this is how we can cloning the repository and with the help of this so you can see this folder is also generated and with the help of this cloning report, uh, repository whatever components we have which is available on the on that github those all components all files will automatically you will get on your local machine and based on that you can open this repo now you can open this repo in particular tool like intellij idea tool and you can uh, use this this repo this is how basically we can we can use the git bash locally we can use the you, we can set up the sss key and here you can see this is how your uh, repository also clone okay this is how basically we can use the uh, we can we can install the git bash git locally and uh, this is how we can set up the sss key locally guys thanks for watching i hope you 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 really like this video thanks for watching if you really like please do a like of this video and please subscribe my my channel thanks for watching thank you guys